there's so much drama going on right now. Ooh. Oh. Hey, what is up, you guys? It's Dustin, and I am back with another video. Nick is here. He is Hello. in the wings of the video, I guess you would say. I wanted to come on here and talk about Daisy Marquez okay. because I made a video about her about four years ago, and it ended up getting a ton of views, and apparently it's become relevant again because she's found herself in some more drama with her sister, Destiny. I made a video about her, too. I think it was about her being rude to like mm. a, a cashier or something. Mm. And, like, these girls are embroiled in drama. I've only ever made two videos about them, but what I have said about them is honestly crazy. And for her to fake having sickle cell anemia is just absolutely bonkers. So I wanted to come on here and talk about that. So we've seen people over the years mm. fake sickness. I remember being in high school, people would fake that they were going to be suicidal and that they faked they had cancer. Hey girl, it's really we crazy. know somebody that faked being suicidal just a few months ago. We do. In we September. Do. And that's really, truly one of the worst forms yeah. of manipulation you could have on disgusting. somebody. It's really downright disgusting. And that's some rat behavior. So basically, let me recap you really quickly. Daisy came out and she said in this podcast that she posted yesterday that she faked having sickle cell anemia because she had a BBL and she didn't want the people to like say things to her about it because it was a time when BBLs were like kind of like taboo. I don't care what so, you do with your body. Why do you care what people think about what you do with your own body? So she made up having an illness. I'm going to be honest. I don't know who Daisy Marquez is. She's a makeup YouTuber. Okay. She used to date, uh, I believe, Brother Nature back in okay. the day. There's a whole bunch of drama with her and her sister because apparently her sister Destiny was getting ready to come out and expose her in a video, allegedly. And apparently Daisy had her sister served with a cease and desist and she responded to it. You guys, check out this TikTok. Okay, you guys. So in Daisy Marquez's new podcast, Daisy Diaries, she shares about the lie she told in 2018 where she said she had sickle cell anemia, but really she got a BBL. People are saying that the only reason that she's coming out and admitting this is because she's scared that her sister is going to expose her. Now, I don't know all the tea between Daisy and her sister, Destiny. Destiny posted this on her Instagram story, which is a cease and desist letter from Daisy, as well as an email that says, in case you missed our last email, please be advised that we represent the interests of Daisy Marquez. We are attaching a cease and desist letter requesting that you seize all defamatory statements regarding our client. Once you have had a chance to review the attached letter, please contact us or have your representative contact us to discuss further. Then she says, I'm being sued for speaking my truth when the video of her speaking about my life is still up. I wanted to drop the video tomorrow, but I'm in the process of getting a lawyer. Thank you to all my honeys for always being there for me. The truth always prevails. I find it crazy for sisters to sue each other. And I'm definitely curious what, what Daisy doesn't want Destiny saying. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I don't know, I don't know anything about her, but just knowing now that she literally lied about having sickle cell and lied about having an illness to get people off of her tells me everything that I need to know about her. Yeah. And I wish her nothing but the best. Yes. <laughs> so you guys, I'm gonna put in a clip from my old video here because I read a whole bunch of tweets back in the day that basically exposed her because there was a lot of people that followed this. You guys know how people are in the comments here. You guys know everything. You guys probably know more than we do because we'll put things in a video and you'll be like, well, you forgot this. Well, yeah. you forgot this. So I want you guys to check out these tweets that I put in my video from four years ago where this person, I can't remember her name, I think it was Salt, exposed Daisy Marquez. This is the chick that dated Manny MUA's brother. She is also the girl that had those tweets, and I will put them on the screen. Those tweets pop back up from her, like, past a couple months ago. Right now, her claim to fame is she's dating, I believe, brother nature, and my God, that man is so sexy. For those of you that actually follow Daisy Marquez or have watched her content, you would know that she had a friend that goes by salt, and I'm not even gonna act like I know who this girl is. I've never seen this girl before. I actually got these screenshots and took myself so I'm not gonna act like I know this whole entire situation but she posted on Instagram the other day about Daisy Marquez and the internet went crazy about it I've seen like so many tweets and we're gonna get into some of those here in a minute but she posted this on Instagram and said this y'all I literally used to have a friend who used to lie 24 7 and even lied about having sickle cell anemia and that was her reason she was MIA for a while but really she got a BBL Brazilian butt lift and needed off time to heal I'm going on a rant on Twitter right 
right now and now I'm thinking about everything while I'm sitting in my Uber. On the way home, if you don't know what sickle cell anemia is, people literally have died from it. There's no way to justify that. If you're in your feelings about me speaking on something that I thought was sick, then you're just as sick. So I'm sure you guys probably know what sickle cell anemia is. It is also very, very, very rare. I'm not going to get into the specifics of it. If you want to look that up, it's just a little quick Google and you can find out. But it's a very, very serious issue. People deal with it. They die from it. It's not anything to really be joked about, okay? And the fact that somebody could lie about that to gain sympathy from people is it, just completely mind-blowing to me. So after this, I've seen a lot of people tweeting on Twitter about it. This girl, Chels, I don't know who she is. Uh, I'm assuming that she probably was a Daisy Marquez fan at one point in time. I don't know, but I've seen a bunch of tweets from her about this. She said, update. Remember she put out a video? I have something to tell you about. She said she had sickle cell anemia. The video is no longer on her channel. The video is gone. I did look to see if there was a tweet. There was a tweet, but I was not able to get it. But Daisy Marquez did upload this video saying, I have something to tell you. This girl, Chels, actually did tweet out something else and said, the fact that Daisy Marquez claimed she went MIA for a bit because she had sickle cell anemia, but that turned out to be a lie. She actually went and got a Brazilian butt lift and needed time off to fully heal before bouncing back to social media. People die from sickle cell anemia, Marquez. So I did see a lot of tweets of people saying that Daisy actually deleted this video and then deleted any tweets where she mentioned anything about sickle cell anemia. And if you do Google them, you will have some tweets pop up. But once you click on them, they disappear and they say that they're no longer available. So Daisy Marquez actually did delete the tweets regarding this. me. I'm like the FBI. I actually came through and I did find those tweets. So I'm going to read them for you now. So on August 27, 2018 at 1130 a.m., Daisy tweeted out and said, after two weeks of being sick and not going to the doctor, they told me I have an infection in my throat that spread to my tonsils, gums, and ears, just in case anyone was wondering. Someone tweeted back to Daisy and said, damn, you stay getting sick. And Daisy said in a reply, I have a really weak immune system and also my sickle cell anemia just makes it worse. Then on November 11th, 2018 at 9.09 p.m., Daisy tweeted out and said, my sickle cell anemia is the worst it's ever been, and I'm in so much pain. So, of course, since this girl Salt put all this stuff out, I'm assuming definitely that her and Daisy are not friends anymore. I don't know the background story to that. I don't know the tea to that. I don't know what's going on with that. But a lot of people started commenting back to her on Instagram. Savannah said, ooh, bitch, tell me why I wondered why her ass got fat in a second. Ah, man, I love watching y'all be together, but if, but if they a constant liar, then bye-bye. Chara replied to Salt and said, I'm sorry, but she's disgusting for this. So I really feel like you should put this out on Twitter because it's not okay. She's convincing her followers they can achieve her body by working out, eating right when she even didn't. I know you probably won't, but this is literally disgusting. She deserves some type of repercussions for this, but she just keeps getting bigger. Okay, replied, and I, I love this name. She said, WTF, like who the f why would she not just say that she was getting a BBL? Like, why make up an elaborate ass lie and make you feel bad over a disease she doesn't even have? People are so out of pocket sometimes. The one thing I will say about this is, is it's really sick to fake or say that you have a disease that you do not have that mm -hmm. people suffer from because that is a very serious thing. And what I really clocked her on is the fact that most sickle cell cases, yeah. if not all of them, it really only from my research affects people of color. And when I say people of color, I mean black people specifically that mm. is something that black people struggle with so for her to basically make a mockery or for her to use that as like some kind of scapegoat for what she was going through that is truly that's that's sick and twisted right oh no i agree trash and all to conceal that she had a bbl now we've had james charles recently come out and say that he had a bbl as well wow, now we I'm know shocked. that james charles has had two bbls i don't understand why these people care so much what people think about what they're doing with it's their body people in their plastic surgery when there's a noticeable difference and they're literally trying to tell you that they just eat their eggs and they do some squats mm -hmm. every now and again girl bye you are as flat as a fucking ironing literally, board before it's just her business i don't understand why she was trying to be like covert about it she didn't have 
have to hide it. Daisy is a beautiful girl. I'm not going to take that away from her. She is absolutely stunning. The house down boots. She's a gorgeous, beautiful fucking girl. Because the beauty industry is a fake ass industry mm-hmm. and they all want to pretend that they're fucking perfect and they want to pretend that they didn't have to do anything to like tweak their body mm-hmm. to make them seem like, oh, look how blessed I am. It's oh. really, truly, <laughs> I think that comes from the unobtainable beauty standards that people get from people like Kim Kardashian, mm-hmm. Khloe Kardashian, all these people that have all this work done. You know that they've had their BBLs removed because once it becomes accessible to people mm-hmm. that were not able to get it before, they don't, they don't want, it. want it anymore because it's not a status symbol, you know? Yeah. I think you should just be who you are. Be who you are. Feel comfortable in your own skin. If you want to get work done, get work done. You don't have to tell anybody, but if you want to tell people, that's okay too. Like, And don't I, lie about having sickle cell. Yeah, what certainly do not lie about having sickle cell. And then to come online and admit it as if people are going to be like, oh my God. I will, okay. I'm going to give her a little bit of credit on that. Like For her to own that in front of all these people uh-huh. and say, hey, I faked this. I said this. She did give a little bit of background as to why she did it, but it still doesn't, to me, make sense why she would lie to a massive amount of people that follow her and worry about her well-being and things did like that. Did she have like, complications with this BBL? I don't think so. Get, like, she said that she was in a lot of pain and that the nurse came in and basically said, well, maybe you have sickle cell anemia because she said that she was anemic well this just seems to be something that maybe she grew legs and put it out there because she doubled down on this quite a few times she said that she had sickle cell multiple times if you just watch the clip that i put in from my previous video talking about this but you guys check out how daisy addressed this just went and got the surgery and i remember getting out the surgery and it literally felt like i got ran over by a trailer i don't know how to explain to you the pain and it didn't hit me until the third day finally when the third by the third days when i started to feel normal like not on like heavy drugs and this is where this idea or light bulb popped up in my head. So right after I got out of surgery, um, the nurse, I remember waking up and this nurse came and she's like, hi honey, like, you know, we're just monitoring you. Like you did lose a lot of blood. Like we just want to make sure that you're good. Like um, that, you know, you won't have to like, just to make sure you're good, right? And I remember she was like trying to like wake me up and keep me in conversation, just like make sure I'm good. And she's just like talking to me. She's like, so how long have you been anemic for? And I was like, oh, like since I can remember. And she's like, oh, she's like, you probably have sickle cell. And she just said it just like that. Dude, that is the first time ever, ever in my entire life that I have ever even heard that word, right? And I just remember she said that and I was like, yeah, yeah, like whatever. I didn't even pay much attention to it. I just remember she said that. And yeah, whatever. And then like the third day is like when I was finally coming back to life and, and I remember looking at my DMs and like messages being like, oh, like where are you? Where have you been? Like I hadn't posted on social media for those three days and, and then I go into full panic mode. I'm like, holy fuck. I cannot even get up or sit down to use the restroom. I can't like do anything. And then I start freaking out. I'm like, oh my God, like what am I gonna tell my fans? Like I had no content refill. Like I go into full panic mode. And I remember at the time it was just my mom and my ex there with me and they didn't know what to do. And I was just kind of like in a frenzy and I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna say that I had sickle cell. Because but let me ask you a question. So when the nurse told you like, oh, you probably have sickle cell. Like how, how was her expression telling you? Was she like worried? Was it just no, like, it was just, sickle cell? Like, no, she was like, oh, you probably have sickle cell. Like just, she, like, she just said it like just so like, like nonchalantly. Okay. So whenever I thought like, oh, I just have sickle cell. I, you know when you like go, like when you have symptoms, you go and go and you like self-test yourself. Thing, yeah. Okay, so I, my dumbass, my stupid dumbass, really thought that like it was like a cold and you get like a flu. Okay. That's what I thought. I hope that this is just a situation where she was like misinformed by the doctors and like the nurses about it. So maybe she did believe, I'm just trying to be devil's advocate over here. Maybe she did believe it and then she actually found out years later after telling everybody I mean, that could be times. the case. I'm not, I'm not going to hold that against her, but mm-hmm. I do think that it takes a lot of tenacity and a lot of maybe growth to, to come on the internet and admit that you basically lied about having a severe illness that affects so many people. There has to be some kind of credit given to her for that. I do think she's wrong for lying, obviously. Well, what, (laughs) after she told people that she had sickle cell, did she get like... Oh, girl, she got dragged. She got dragged Absolutely for dragged. My original video on this has over 300,000 No, like back in views. the day when she originally told people that she had sickle cell, what was the reaction then? It was oh, like it sympathy. Was, Did her yes. channel grow and all that? So she was like... Well, no, I, I don't think so. She already had a lot of followers mm-hmm. then. I don't think people followed her because she had sickle cell. I think a lot of people really sympathized and mm-hmm. empathized with her because they thought that she was going through something, but it turns out she was just getting a BBL. Yeah. <laughs> Why lie in the name of just getting a BBL, girl? Be like, I'm girl. getting a fucking BBL. If I want to get my ass fatter, I'm going to get my ass fatter. Yeah. It's not that big of a deal for you to have to lie about it. And for her to say at that time that people would have came for her, people come for people all the time over them getting work done. Were they going to drag you for getting your ass done? Like, come on. How bad could the dragging be? I, girl, I don't know. Like, she said that she was very sensitive to things that people would say about her on the internet at the time, and I understand yeah. that, but that doesn't mean you come on the internet and lie about a serious situation like this. That, that to me, it doesn't, it doesn't weigh out, but I, I do think it's commendable that she came on here and basically owned her truth. I do want to know what's going to come of this situation with her sister, Destiny, mm-hmm. because this seems to be very, very, very messy. What I will say I believe is problematic is the fact that she's now, in my opinion, trying to silence her sister, Destiny, mm-hmm. because Destiny was apparently going to come out and expose a whole bunch of things about her. And maybe this is just Daisy getting ahead of that. Yeah. You shouldn't try to silence your sister. Daisy got on the Internet and told her sister Destiny's story. Why can't Destiny get on the Internet and tell her story about Daisy? It's true. Uh, it's, it's it's just messy. very shady. It's messy. But the messy stays probably, messy. Do y'all remember when Gabriel Zamora said that? Hmm? Messy stays messy. Who said that? 
Gabriel Zamora. He oh, said that he? about Tati back in the day. Oh. <laughs> he also but, said that Manny was outside of his apartment and he was scared to go downstairs. So. Well, no, I believe him. I believe him. You would be scared to go downstairs with Manny? No, I wouldn't be scared, but I believe that Manny was out there acting crazy. God. 100%. What was he doing? Standing down there yelling up? Yeah, Gabriel. With a Gabriel, megaphone? Please, please. I don't want to be oh. canceled, Gabriel. Because you remember that was the time when Gabriel came out and said that Manny had his manager like basically hounding him to yeah. take like accountability for this picture that he posted that got all of them fucking canceled. Yeah. <laughs> so messy. That was such a crazy time. It was that was a great time to be alive. But you guys are gonna have to let me know your thoughts and opinions on this down below. What do you think about the sickle cell anemia live that Daisy told her audience? I think that that's absolutely bonkers and fucking crazy. But I also think that it takes a lot for her to come on the internet and own that. So I'm gonna give her props on that. And her behavior moving forward will be the best indicator of if she's changed or if she's gonna tell more lies. But with that said, I hope you guys all have an amazing day and we will see you all in my next video. Bye, Bye guys. Bye.